What's good? I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers. Back with another video, and today we got the Nike ACG Air Moab. Originally released in 1991, these are classics by all accounts. I pretty much get these every time they drop, and you know they among my favorites. The last retro was in 2015, and before that, 2009. These are slated for official release September 3rd, but these have dropped at a few spots here and there. You know, these dropped in 2015. Um, I had a pair, I bought them in 2015. You know, I rocked those out. And I bought another pair in 2020 um, without any idea that these would drop. And then I still haven't gotten them around to wearing them. And as these right here, you know, um, you know, this is a quick look, just so you can see some quick differences, you know, most notably, you know, the tabs and whatnot. But, um, you know, I got a full video coming soon. Or well, at least I think I'm gonna do one, uh, you know, with, with more detailed comparison of both because there's quite a few differences, you know, if you got them both in hand and could really see. But, you know, we can get to that at another time. Get straight into these details. We can just start off with the box real quick. They come in the ACG box, which I'm digging. You know, if you have, if you copped any of the recent ACGs in the last like two years, they come in this box right here. I, I bought a pair of um, ACG Mountain Flies, Tides, which are pretty dope. I don't even, I might do a review on those too, because there's not many of those out. But, you know, I dig that box as opposed to the regular orange box. But, you know, we could go, jump into the details of the whole shoe here. You get a good look. Now, for the most part, the shoe is like a, it's a suede material. Um, as opposed to the ones that dropped in 2015, as well as the originals, which are leather. These are a suede material. Start at the front, the toe, you know, suede. And most notably, we got that swoosh right here, which is, you know, I'll go over that more when I give my real thoughts, but you know, it was a lot of people had a gripe with that, which I kind of did too, but you know, it's not that serious. Get a look at the toe box, perforations, you know, classic Moab. You know, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're a Moab fan or you got a pair or want a collar pair, so you know what it is already. The tongue is like that sock classic Hirachi type tongue. And they actually put the Hirachi logo here, which I'm not that much of a fan of, but in reality, it doesn't really, it doesn't take away. I'm not gonna say it adds anything, but it doesn't take away too much, you know? And of course the pull tabs in the front, the one in the back, fresh. Got a side view. You already know, classic, that classic profile. It's a Moab, man. Hirachi. We got some perforations on the side here. And for the most part, man, it's just that suede. You know, it's it's uh, it's uh two colors, but it's, it's come almost the same tan, pretty much. Get a look at the back. That Nike Air, classic. Got the pull tabs here inside of the shoe. Yeah, man. Let's look at the midsole, which is a, I, I say it's one of the key factors of the shoe. I always like the midsole, the speckled paint. It's always been dope. Outsole, blue, orange, and black. You know, I'm from New York. I'm a Knicks fan, so. You know, I kind of pretty, I pretty much rock with anything orange and blue for the most part, you know. Yeah, man. I just wanted to give y'all a good look, man, because a lot of the details, I can do that in the, when I do the comparison video, I can get real into the details and whatnot. But now for sizing on these, I went true to size, and that's what I suggest, um, you know, for a point of reference. Jordan 1 size 9, MX 1 size 9. I'm pretty much in the size 9 across the board besides like Air Force 1s and, um, you know, some 80s basketball sneakers. But true to size, for sure. 
especially you know being that this you know this has shoelace but it's really like a sock shoe so if you have any experience with them sock type shoes it's better to get a true to size or even maybe a half size bigger for some people but they cool as far as comfort um you know they cool you know at the end of the day it's a 90s retro the tech wasn't amazing in the 90s but you know what i mean these are pretty cool you can rock them for the day like i said it's pretty much a sock shoe the laces are there for extra support and whatnot so you know what i mean you're gonna be good rocking these now for my thoughts my overall thoughts on the shoe was that you know i'm, I'm rocking with them of course you know i copped a pair i was able to get a pair early uh they released september 3rd officially at least on the nike app i don't know where else they drop in and honestly i might might get another pair like i said these are among my favorites but as far as like the extra things that's um with it you know first let, let's talk about the, the swoosh right the swoosh you know when i first seen the swoosh i thought it was i thought it was kind of whack whatever but you know in person i say you know it's definitely like it's the biggest eyesore but it isn't that bad you know what i'm saying it's really just it's really not that deep you know it's all it's, it's that deep if you're a snob you know and if you got the other pair and you're just like Ugh. but I, I wear sneakers to get fly or whatnot or just for the feeling i you know I could get just as fly with a swoosh in the front and I could, you know what I mean? I feel just as powerful with these on. So that really makes no difference like that. Now for the heel tabs, the heel tabs, for anybody worried about the heel tabs, like the heel tabs are really, it's not a big deal at all, you know? It's not that big a deal. I honestly think, you know, two was a little redundant. You know, I think with one, it would have been cool too, but it's really not that bad. The logo, eh, the logo's ugly, but it's orange. I fuck with orange, and it kind of just melts into it. It's not that big a deal overall. Overall, it's not that serious. So I'd say if you fuck with Moabs and you're worried about how they looking now in 2021, it's really not that serious. I just say, I say, just go ahead and cop and rock them and do your thing. It's not that deep. You know, they gonna keep bringing more joints out and you know, the next ones will probably be more true to form. But I will say that these are actually waterproof. Well, water resistant. Like you pour some water on these and they roll off. These right here, if you were to get these wet, the water kind of seeps into it and leaves like a water stain, you know? So it's really not ACG, all conditions gear with these. But these, you know, um, water test was done and you know, they roll off. So that's another bonus for those out there buying kicks for actual function. Another pair as well dropped with these, which I'm really not that interested in, but I am interested in the purple pair. The purple pair is dope to me with the swoosh with the tabs all that to me they look dope anyway um the purple pair originally was an original pair as well but and this is their first time being retro as well um you know with the differences you know they were slightly different but for the most part they were purple suede but what y'all think man um y'all rocking with these um have y'all always been fans or is this your first moab that y'all looking to get or are y'all just sleeping on these um these came out in like two spots and you know, my man hit me up, sent me a link and I was able to cop my size and it worked. But let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all rocking with these? Copping? These are whack to y'all. Um, have y'all been waiting for these to come out like I have? Or are these just trash? You're not really feeling the new makeup. You know what I'm saying? You're not feeling the swoosh, the tabs, you know? You know, those of a certain era, they know what it is with these. I want to know what y'all feel, man. But it's what it is. Like I said, I'm rocking with them. And come September, I'm going to try to double up if I can, just because, you know, these are among my favorites. There you have it. I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers. Peace.